Uh, they seem to have better strength and function, less pain. You know, this, this material actually works because it actually stretches, allows the patient to dorsiflex the foot. Yes. By using Ardwan to augment larger tears, it allows me to then begin ankle motion uh, starting at two weeks when they come out of the splint. Since I've been using Ardwan for this, um, you know, I feel confident in my, my repairs. Patients truly, truly get back faster, have less pain, have less swelling, and most importantly, uh, seem to have better strength. <laughs> And then, and then my op note, he had like a destroyed perineus brevis. I mean, it was like, it was like in four pieces, longitudinal strips, you know, this long Jeez. over between behind the fibula, through the groove, down into the foot, just looked like a, you know, shredded. And so what I did was I kind of took out all the degenerative tissue, repaired it to together, the, the two slices that looked the best. And then I took yeah. the line and reinforced the repair and uh, I've done it in different ways. I've kind of candy caned uh, over the repair. I've woven the, the Artelon through the tendon repair. The patients truly, truly get back faster, have less pain, have less swelling, and most importantly, uh, seem to have better strength uh, as they go through the rehab process. Yeah, I used to dread always going into perineal tendon surgery. It was always the the post-operative recovery, um, because it was very inconsistent and unpredictable. You know, patients would always have residual pain, soreness, swelling, um, and some did great, some a lot didn't. Um, so you, since I've been using Arlon for this, um, you know, I feel confident in my, my repairs. I can get them moving quicker, rehab them quicker, and results have been that much better. Perineal tendons, uh, I mean, have a history of uh, poor healing capacity, uh, I feel as though perineal uh, uh, or with perineal tendon pathology, Artelon's allowed me uh, to kind of preserve uh, tendon in places where, as I mentioned before, people would historically do a tenodesis or an allograft reconstruction. So I find myself, number one, using the uh, Artelon to basically augment tendons that have tears greater than 50%. Uh, I find myself using it. Uh, both inlay and onlay for large longitudinal split tears that extend uh, uh, four centimeters and beyond. Uh, I've also found that this allows me to mobilize my perineal tendon patients much earlier than maybe I would have otherwise. By using Ardalon to augment larger tears, it allows me to then begin ankle motion uh, starting at two weeks when they come out of the splint. I also feel comfortable starting earlier weight bearing. My patients will weight bear at two weeks uh, if it's a simple perineal tendon repair uh, using Ardalon uh, when I've maintained the superior perineal retinaculum. And if I have to incise the superior perineal retinaculum and then secondarily repair it, uh, I'll just wait three weeks before weight bearing patients. I think a perineal tendon repair is sort of the black box of foot and ankle. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's analogous to ulnar sided wrist pain for hand surgeons. And these patients, I think, uh, can often plague us and have pain for six to nine months, if not longer, after surgery. And so we're kind of banging our heads against the wall a bit. Um, but Ardalon has been nice, giving me an option uh, where I would see a severe chronic degenerative tear in the past and feel like I was forced to do a tenodesis uh, or an allograft reconstruction. It's been nice to be able to debride the tendon and then augment that with, with Ardalon. Um, and I've just noticed patients, I feel like I'm more confident, um, you know, uh, expediting their rehab after surgery. Uh, they seem to have better strength and function, less pain. Um, and I like the fact that it uh, has the elasticity of normal tendon and ligament tissue, uh, but maintains its strength uh, and is eventually replaced by, uh, by normal tissue because it's, it's a load sharing device. Uh, usually you could just repair the sheath but once in a while, there's nothing to work with. So you have to have something to hold it down. Uh, back in the days, I used to use allograft or some rigid material. So try to bridge it between lateral malleolus to calcaneus um, so that the perineal tendons are held down. But the problem is that if you use a rigid material, the patient can dose flex the foot. So, uh, you know, this, this material actually works because it actually stretches, allows the patient to dorsiflex the foot. Yes. 
at the same time, it just maintains the uh, stabilities so that the uh, tendon is kind of held uh, down uh, behind the fibula. Mm -hmm.